I am Harry from McFly and you're watching Sam for God. Oh hi! So I don't really have anything to talk about today, nothing planned anyway, but I thought I'd make a video anyway just because I just felt like it really. I think this is my first video of literally not knowing what I'm going to talk about at all, so it feels a bit weird, but I'm just going to take it easy and yeah. It's August now, which is mad. I mean, what happened to June and July? Seriously, it feels like it was only yesterday when I was doing my exams in May, back in May, and it's already August, and that's just, that really scares me, if I'm honest, because I have to go back to uni in about a month. And usually I'd be excited about going back to uni and stuff, because it's always nice to, you know, start a new year and see your friends again. But because it's going to be my last year, this coming year, um, I don't want to start yet. I don't feel prepared, if I'm honest. Everyone keeps saying that the second year of uni is harder than the third year of uni. But um, I don't really, I'm not sure if I um, want to believe that because the second year of my university um, counts for 30% of my whole grade and the third year counts for 60%. So obviously there's a lot more pressure on me um, in the third year. And I don't really care if people say it's not as hard as second year. The fact that, you know, it counts for 60% uh, scares me a lot. So yeah, that's something that I'm not looking forward to. Huh. Also, it was my birthday a few days ago on the 29th of July, and that was very fun. I'm 21 now, which is cool, I guess. It's actually quite weird because even before I turned 21, like from about maybe two or three months before I turned 21, um, whenever people ask me about what my age was, I used to tell them that I was 21, even when I was still 20, just because I wanted to kind of get used to um, the fact that I was going to turn 21 soon. And so now it's, it's very easy for me to just, you know, tell people that I'm 21 because I've been kind of mentally preparing myself for about two or three months. I got some great presents and cards and gifts and stuff. Uh, a lot of people gave me chocolate, which is great because I'm a chocoholic. I love chocolate and I've got so much chocolate in my house now. It's just crazy. But I love them all. I'm, I've eaten a lot of them already. I also got an iPad, which is brilliant. But my main present this year was um, the trip to Disneyland Paris, which you um, hopefully saw. I uploaded a video of that a couple of days ago and it was probably one of the best presents ever. I had so much fun at Disneyland. It was just so cool to go back after um, a long time and see everything and yeah, it was just really, really fun. At Disneyland Paris, there's an attraction called um, Tower of Terror um, or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if they have them that in other um, Disneyland parks, but there is one in Disneyland Paris called Tower of Terror. And it's one of the most recent rides. It's in um, Walt Disney Studios. It's not in the actual main Disneyland park. Um, but yeah, for, for a few, for a couple of years, I've been kind of, thinking about it, um, thinking about whether or not I want to go on the ride uh, because it looks very scary and the videos that they have of the ride like on YouTube and stuff just is so scary. And I was actually at Disneyland last year too with my best friend and that was the only ride that I didn't go on, the only like, you know, adult ride that I didn't go on because I was too scared. Um, but this year I finally um, got the courage to actually go on it and I'm going to be honest, I was actually very disappointed. I thought that was going to be a lot more scary than it actually was. Um, I mean, um, I, don't, I don't know if you're familiar with some of the Disney rides, but there's another ride called Rock and Roller Coaster, or the Aerosmith one, um, and that is very, very scary. That's so fast. And so is um, Space Mountain, actually, the one in Paris. Um, I think I read somewhere that the one in Florida doesn't actually go upside down, the Space Mountain, which is weird to me, but the, the Disneyland one, is the Paris one, is very, very cool. So yeah, I was quite disappointed. I mean, I was expecting it to be scary. It still was obviously very scary, but I was expecting it to be a lot scarier than it actually ended up being. I'm still packing and stuff because we're moving soon. And um, as I was packing the other day, I found this, which as you can see is a banner that says um, Samar loves Kian. And that's Kian from Westlife, in case you hadn't guessed. And it made me smile because um, this banner is actually on one of Westlife's DVDs their DVD of their last tour because I had it, I was there when they filmed that DVD and I was I was holding it up and um, you can see my banner in the DVD and Nikki from Westlife actually reads out my banner which is really cool. Anyway, um, oh yeah, Pottermore, that's been going on for a few days now, um, apparently there's this like um, pre-registration thing that you can do um, these next few days if you have to, if you, have, if you can solve some of the clues on the website, um, which is kind of annoying because I haven't been, you know, free these past few days. I, I missed the first two days. I missed today as well because I was out this morning. So yeah, hopefully I'll get to register, pre-register tomorrow or, you know, the day after that or sometime before the pre-registration closes. I wasn't very excited about Pottermore when I first heard of it, but people are saying that 
it's actually amazing. I mean, I still don't know anything much about it, but some people have apparently got a sneak preview of it at um, LeakyCon, and it looks and it all sounds amazing. I don't know if it looks amazing because I haven't actually seen it, but it sounds very, very exciting. So yeah, that's what I'm going to say in this video. Um, I hope I didn't bore you with my random ramblings about random stupid things that you probably don't even care about. Um, I promise I'm not going to make any more videos like this, or I might do actually, because this was quite fun. This was like a really relaxed video where I didn't have to think about what I was going to say. I just kind of said what I wanted to. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.